It smells like vanilla. First off, hello, cute outside packaging. That is adorable. Hey guys, welcome back. So got a fun haul video for you today. I've got my birthday haul here. So I got some goodies that I was just blessed with from my friends and family. And a lot of it is beauty related, which I know that you guys are into also. That's why we're all here. We're all beauty junkies. So I'm just gonna run through and show you the different goodies that I got and we're gonna do a little haul. So let's get to it. Okay, so first off, I'm really excited about this. This was a group gift from my parents, Michelle and Robert. And this is the Babyliss Pro Nano Titanium Integrated Ceramic Heaters One Inch Plate Wide. So this is what the box looks like for it. Um, and this is the flat iron that my hairdresser uses when she curls my hair. And I have a bit of a learning curve with it. Um, I had to kind of bring in my conical one to kind of save the day because I'm just not used to it yet. But um, it is really high quality. I mean, I love that it's like a longer flat iron so you have like more space to really kind of run your hair through so your hair is not falling out of it as much. And I like that the plates are really thin. So it's a long flat iron, but also the plates are thin. So it's a really nice one. I'm really excited about this, but I'm just gonna have a little bit of a learning curve to figure out how to use it. And then my sweet, sweet bestie, Ashley, Texas Mommy of Boys, gave me a beautiful Tom Ford lipstick. I already showed it in a Friday Favorites, Monthly Favorites. I think maybe even my Beauty Con haul, maybe. I don't remember, but I've already talked about it on my channel because I love that lipstick. It is gorgeous. She totally spoiled me. And then she sent me a really cute floral arrangement. It's a little teapot. I showed it on my Snapchat. If you follow me on Snapchat, you saw it there, but it is so cute. I love that too. I'm trying to run through everything quickly. My sister gave me this really cute little chalkboard sign and then she gave me some chalk for it and it like hangs on a little like rope and it's just, adorable. I love this. It's so like a vintage -y looking, super cute. And then my sister also gave me two really cute necklaces. This first one's like a really adorable turquoise one and it has a little like key on it and a little jewel. I love this. It's so cute. It's on a silver chain. Adorable. And then this is so vintage -y. It's a little like glass bottle sort of a thing and it says there is no better friend than a sister and no better sister than you. I love it. It's so cute. It just looks antique -y and it's just sweet and sentimental. So I love it so much. And then Timothy got me the Sweet Peach palette. So I'm really excited about this. It is adorable. Everything about it is cute. The outside packaging is cute. The palette itself is cute has a nice like peachy scent. I don't like the scent as much as the chocolate bar palettes or the PB&J palette. Um, Cause it's kind of like more of a like a fakey sort of peachy smell. Um, but it is, I like that they did the whole theme together. So super duper cute. I'm loving it. I have it on my eyes today. I've been wearing it pretty much every single day since he gave it to me. So. Super excited about this. And then from my parents, I got a lot of makeup because my mom is, she's like me. She loves makeup, she loves beauty stuff, she loves HSN and QVC, so we talk about makeup stuff together and it's just really fun. So first off, they did get me a really adorable bracelet. I love this, it's like very kind of, I don't know, earthy and a little bit hippie, so I think that's super cute. Um, she got this set from YBF is Your Best Friend. I think this is on HSN. So these are supposed to be kind of like a, sort of like a topper gloss. I think it's called, I think the color is called Creme Brulee. Yeah, Creme Brulee lip gloss, and then it came with a lip liner too. Your Best Friend, Your Best Lip Liner, and this is in Studio Spice. So I really like this line. The things that I've tried from it, I think are really nice. And then they gave me three of these Buxom Wildly Whipped Lightweight Liquid Lipsticks. So I have the color Moonlighter, which is a really pretty kind of retro red, Wondrous, which is a nice kind of like neutral pink, and Lover, which is kind of more of a raspberry shade. So I think I'm gonna do either a lip swatch video on new lip colors that I've gotten recently, or kind of like a new from Sephora and Ulta review type video. Something like that. Let me show you swatches real quick though. Okay, so this one is Moonlighter, Wondrous, and Lover. 
So there are those swatches. Still forming an opinion on these because I've just worn them like once, kind of a half a day sort of thing. So still deciding on them, so I will have a full like review at some point. Then I got a couple of Bare Minerals blushes. I was actually with my parents when we bought these and it was the 21 Days of Beauty on this day. So this was the like sale item that day. So they bought me a couple and said, we'll get these for you for your birthday. So the first color is Hint. And these are really pretty. They're kind of like almost glowy looking. So Hint, I honestly don't even know if this is gonna show up in a swatch for y'all. Yeah, I don't know. It's like a really light pink color. It's right there. It's sort of a light maroony pink kind of a shade. It's really, really beautiful. I love that one. On the cheeks it does show up, but in a swatch it really doesn't, I guess. This one is Fruit Cocktail. This is gorgeous too. This one is like a, oh my gosh, I'm getting blush everywhere. But this one is, kind of reminds me of like a brighter version of um, Max Just a Wisp. Cause it's got just a little bit more coloring to it, but it's got that glowiness. I love it. So these were half price that day and I think they're beautiful. And they got me one of the Lorac Color Source Buildable Blushes. This is in the shade Prism. The other one I have is in, I believe it's Tinge, and that one's a really light neutral color. This one's still very neutral too, for sure. I mean, they're both neutral, but this one is a little bit more of like a peachy neutral color. And the texture on these blushes is seriously like straight up silk. They are so buttery and soft and they blend the skin beautifully. Oh my goodness, I love these blushes. I would definitely recommend at least trying one or two and seeing what you think about them. But after I got Tinge, I mean, even swatching it, I thought it was amazing. So I've been loving Tinge and then now I have this one and it's so pretty. So I'm really excited about this. And I have been eyeing this forever. This is the Tarte Tartist Contour Palette and I'm just super excited to have this because I've thought about it and just never ended up getting it. So they got it for me and it's just a really nice contouring palette. And an added bonus of this that I never knew, and if people have talked about it, I've totally missed that, but it smells like vanilla. Yeah, like kind of like the chocolate bar palettes, but less chocolatey, way more vanilla. But really yummy, really yummy. And then I did hear somebody say in a video that the Tardis and Bloom palette smells like vanilla. So I was sniffing it at Sephora the other day. I was sniffing both of these. And I didn't smell it as much in that one, but maybe the tester had been sitting there longer. I don't know, but apparently they both smell like vanilla. So that's a little added bonus. Let me swatch these for you. So there, those are just a really nice buttery texture on these two. Very kind of silky, not quite as silky as those Lorac blushes, but just a really nice texture to be able to blend into the skin. I think it has a good like selection of colors for different skin tones for contouring. Mostly like probably fair to medium skin tones, but still really beautiful. And you could use this on your eyes too. So good for travel and it smells like vanilla. What else could you want? And I also forgot to mention that Robert gave me a gift card to Ulta. So I'm excited about that because I have some points saved up and then I have like some, like a birthday point thing, like basically dollars to spend. So I'm going a little, Ulta shopping trip. So lastly for my parents, I got the Benefit Dandelion Dew. This is the Soft Baby Pink Radiance for Cheeks. First off, hello, cute outside packaging. That is adorable, oh my gosh. So I've been a little bit intrigued by this, but I don't know that I would have gotten it. Cute inside packaging too. So the outside box is adorable, the actual product is adorable. So I've been intrigued by it, but I don't know that I would have gotten it for myself, but I'm so glad that they got it for me because first impressions on this, I love it. Like it is such a cute everyday pink. I am wearing this today, but it has something on top of it. 
cute everyday pink. It blends into the skin beautifully. It's pigmented. It's easy to use. I've been using my e.l.f. small stipple brush with it and I'm just loving it. Like first impressions, yes, yes, yes. It is so cute, adorable, and fun. This is probably one of my favorite things I got because it's just kind of a surprise favorite. It is so great. Alright guys, so those are all the goodies that I got for my birthday. So I just feel so incredibly blessed and loved and I know this is going to sound so ridiculously cheesy, but I'm going to say it anyway. I just feel the most thankful for the people in my life. Just my family, my friends, you guys, just y'all being in my life. I mean, that is the greatest gift that I could ask for. I know that sounds cheesy. I know it sounds ridiculous, but it's the truth. So I want to say it. So I'm just really thankful for the people in my life. So hope that you guys really enjoyed my birthday haul. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Let me know down below if you have any questions about any of these products. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.